they're deep in the rainforest and it is teeming down. How about this? Natural spa bath in the morning. About 8 k's of any civilization. You just wonder how many people have even been to this waterfall. I reckon you can count them on two hands. <laughs> Uh, it's torrential rain now, so we just have to try and set up as fast as we could. Found a pretty sweet little spot. It looks like it's almost like a natural water slide, so we're going to give it a go. It looks super fun. There you go! <laughs> How are you guys? Back out here this weekend and this time I brought a couple of mates, a couple more victims for this trip. Uh, we're out on a mate's farm on some private property. It's got a creek running through it. We're going to follow that up and try and find a waterfall. A bit similar to my last vid. I've got Tob and Trav with me. They've never been here so yeah it should be good but we're not sure on the weather forecast this weekend. It's meant to be a bit of rain tonight so we're not sure where we'll end up sleeping or what the setup will be. So it could be pretty interesting, but yeah, come along for the ride. Let's go. Like Louis. <laughs> and you can tell who's never been to a farm before. <laughs> there, we, there we go. We're off. <laughs>
there. Get out of the medical oh, kit. Oh. oh, we got blood. First blood of the trip. <laughs> That's tough. Keep going. So there's a pretty cool little spot here. Nice sandy beach, a uh, little waterfall, and pretty deep pool out in front. So it would make for a pretty good campsite. Um, but we're not, I think we're only halfway to where we're trying to get to. So probably won't be us tonight, but mark that down as a potential little spot for next time. Any uh, suggestions on that one is? Maybe a bat. Maybe a pelvis or something of some small animal or maybe part of a spine. I don't know. Oh, there's the other bit. A bit there. Let us know if you know what that is. It was at precisely this point when we ran into what was undoubtedly the hardest part of this entire hike. Oh! My hat just got ripped up. The hell really? spiky bind to here. <sighs> Bro, oh, don't go this way. Don't. <laughs> a good solid hour to an hour and a half of heavy, thick bush bashing through Lantana and way to wild vines. But I'll save you the trouble and we'll pick it up afterwards. Start out of water. On bugger day. It's a lot harder than I remember. Oh, still a bit to go as well. What a slog. That was so <laughs> hard. It went from maybe the easiest thing we've had all day to probably the, the yeah, hardest. Yeah, uh, far the hardest. Your hat's all ripped up too, bro. Yeah, the wait a while. That wait a while one. Because that was called the wait a while. Yeah, wait a while, yeah. If you get caught in it, you'll be waiting a while. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it ripped up my shirt too. Yeah, yeah it did right here. A couple of threads. Yeah, so the rain just made the rocks so slippery. Every step is pretty sketchy now, so we're pretty slow, but the good news is we're getting pretty close. How are you feeling? <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Light work? Yeah, light work. <laughs> oh! Yeah. How are ya? <laughs> and the best news is, boys, there's one up there that's three times as big. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Nice. After what had been a truly brutal slog, we had finally made it to the main waterfall and we couldn't wait to jump into that refreshing water to soothe our aches and pains.
is it? Well guys, uh, I'm sorry we had to cut it a bit short there, but the rain well and truly came in. Uh, it's torrential rain now, so we just had to try and set up as fast as we could, but found a spot for the tarp and the tent, so uh, we've got some form of setup, but I'll probably just leave it there because it's not very fun at the moment and touch base in the morning. Well, that was a very soggy, wet night, but thankfully we're all dry. <sighs> Boys are just getting up now. <laughs> it literally rained heavily all night. It's a little bit lighter now, thankfully. But yeah, it's going to be a, a wet day, I think. <laughs> but anyway, let's get out of today. <laughs> no, oh, I'm not rolling an ankle trying to get out of here. <laughs> it's treacherous. Caveman shit. How'd you sleep? Yeah, really good actually. Man, I had a really good sleep. I've had three really wild dreams. I had like junkies attacking me in, in New York. <laughs> then I stole a, I stole a scooter, like a ride on scooter in Noosa. That was the next dream. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird.
got this natural spa bath in the morning. About 8 k's from any civilization. You just wonder how many people have even been to this waterfall. I reckon you can count them on two hands. Let's get up there. Is it? Yeah, so as you can see, wasn't a whole lot of real estate for our camp. Um, originally, we we're actually planning on sleeping uh, at the top of the waterfall just on a flat rock if it was dry but um, yeah unfortunately as you know the weather had some other plans for us so it was a bit of a last minute scramble to figure out where we could actually sleep um, but we managed to find a spot flat enough for the boys to set up the tent albeit crammed in between a few rocks <laughs> on a little slant um, and a couple of nice trees for the hammock so yeah all things considered I think we did pretty well Packed up now. Okay. Don't have my watch on. I think it's about 8:30. Um, yeah, we got about eight k's of heavy rock hopping and bush bashing to get out of here. So um, probably at least five hours of trekking, I think. Um, and it's going to be even tough today with how slippery everything's going to be. So. Yeah, we're going to um, finish up Brecky, finish up packing up and then 
get on out of here. Shirt, so it's got to be done. That's all quite refreshing. <laughs> well, that's camp packed up. Well, we're deep in the rainforest and it is teeming down, so I'm gonna have to put the camera away in a plastic bag for a bit and we'll check in after the rain. <laughs> Do it. Do you want to throw them away? Oh, it's all part of the fun in the rainforest there. Eh? So we're gonna stop for lunch here. Found a pretty sweet little spot. Um, it looks like there's almost like a natural water slide. So uh, we're gonna give it a go. It looks super fun. Boys are just gearing up now. We'll probably, yeah, as I said, have a bit of lunch here, have a swim. We're pretty much halfway home. So making a lot better progress than we were up the creek yesterday. But um, yeah, let's get in there. It should be epic. There it goes. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to tell, but my lens has started fogging up. I think with all the humidity and condensation, um, yeah, the lens has gone a bit foggy, so not sure if that's going to affect the shots at all, but if it looks a bit misty or cloudy, then you know why. It's been a bit of a, a rough slog for the camera on this trip. She's got a bit of a beating. Um, but anyway, that was a good little lunch spot, so now, yeah, we're going to keep on trucking.
Greg. Oh, Greg. Can you do the outro? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> now nah, the boys want to go home, so <laughs> time to get out of here. That was that was a pretty tough slog. But to be honest, today was a lot better than yesterday. We managed to get on a few of the game trails on the way back, so it was a lot less rock popping um, and bush bashing. But yeah, in saying that, our legs are all pretty scratched up. Um, we've got cuts all over us, spider bites. We've had it all today, so um, one little final ice bath. The car's just up there, so yeah, until next time, how are ya? How are ya? <laughs>